Tina here. I hope your day is going wonderful. I'm back again to share a project with you. We are using the Spellbinders Poinsettia Bells and Border Embossing Folder. This is unique to Spellbinders. I printed out a picture of what it looks like. It creates a 3D embossed piano with poinsettias and bells, but it also has a pattern at the very top where it creates a beautiful embossed detail and then you can die cut it out. We'll be using this on our card today and we're going to be using both panels with both of the cut and the embossed area and we're going to switch it up with two different colors of cardstock. We're also going to be using the poinsettia in the Christmas Bird Poinsettia die set from Spellbinders. I've used this quite a bit and I'll link the videos where I did use it at the end if you want to check it out. It's kind of a versatile set. But we'll start by doing some embossing. And let me see if the camera will pick up the detail here. You can see the cut line here. And all this is open area. This is the die that will cut that out. Now you, I did it both ways. I, I was doing a little bit of practicing. And I, well let me, let me first show you what I did. Okay, this is the detail piece here that I cut out just using some red cardstock and then I went over it with a white pigment ink. I just went, I just opened my ink pad and went right over at the top of it like this. And that pattern is so pretty. We're not gonna use this, but this, this will create a really quick and easy card also. You just would put it maybe on the side here. You could cut off the border if you wanted to. Maybe put some ribbon and that would make an instant card super duper easy. Um, this is the background piece. I did it with a dark brown. Not too fond of this, <laughs> but at least you could probably see the pattern a little bit better. The patterns are different from the cut part and the embossed part. You can see. But I think this would be really pretty going over it with the white also. We're going to create a background. Let's grab some cardstock. And I thought we would do some just traditional Christmas colors. Um, I'm going to take my white panel. And what I like to do is we'll cut it first. Let's cut our panel. I'm going to run this through my die cut machine and I will be right back. Okay, we ran it through. And this is what that looks like with the cut line. Now you could do this before or after. Um, I think if you do the cut first and then emboss, your print is more 3D. Because after you emboss and then cut, when you run it through your die cut machine, it does flatten slightly. So after we have this done, I'm going to place it upside down. And the best way for me to tell if it's positioned per perfectly, is I will line it up, obviously the right way. What I'm gonna do is line it up on the back side, and you can see I cut crooked because my panel is crooked. But this is gonna um, emboss beautifully. I'm gonna actually take a bird stock and I'm gonna emboss this also. And I'll emboss this on the bell portion. And I will be right back. So there is our beautiful embossed and cut piece, and then this is our beautiful background. I'm going to take this and go ahead and glue this to the front of my card base. I'm going to use my tea runner. Now I'm going to take this panel, and at the embossed line, I'm going to trim away the flat edge. I think that flat edge is great if you want to add ribbon, but we're not going to do that today. We're going to keep it real simple. So I'm going to take my paper trimmer, and this is the new Spellbinders paper trimmer, and I have to say I'm loving it. And I will just trim away that straight lined area. I'm going to go ahead and pop this up with foam tape and place it on my card base. And we will add it here. Kind of reminds me of this little Christmas dress I had. <laughs> I keep looking at going, I had one of those little apron dresses for Christmas and that's what this reminds me of. But anyway, okay, I have three pieces of cardstock. We have fern, 
Dune, and then the same, I don't think I mentioned, but this is pomegranate cardstock. All of these are Spellbinders Color Essentials. We're going to take our die set. This is again the Christmas Bird Poinsettia. And the Poinsettia here, I'm thinking will fit perfectly on this Poinsettia here to do a little bit of layering. So I'll repeat two of these on my pomegranate cardstock. I have some holly leaves that I'm going to cut out with my dune cardstock, and then I also have my fern, and we're going to use this piece here. I'll cut this out twice with the fern, and these twice too, okay? I die cut everything out, and again, this card's going to be pretty simple. If you wanted to ink blend on the edges, you could, but I like the classic look for today's project. So I'll take this, and I'm going to actually pop this up with a foam square. This point that is meant to layer, so I cut out two, and I'll layer it on the first, and it lines up pretty close to the poinsettia that's on the, on the embossed area. And then I'm going to add one more, kind of fluff up those leaves or the petals, and I'll crisscross it on here for a little extra dimension. Okay, we have our greenery. I'm gonna bring in my glue for this. And I'll just add a little thin bead along the, the spine of this, and I'll tuck it on the left, and then I can also tuck it on the right. Foam square behind each of these. And we'll put two to the left and two to the right. Okay, we have a little bit of dimension there. Now you could add some some gems to the middle or some pearls, but I think I'm gonna go a little bit of texture with a bow that I created with the Spellbinders white twine. I'm gonna use a glue dot, put it right behind the knot, and this is gonna go in the center of my poinsettia. The only thing that's missing is a little bit of sparkle, and rather than take away from the beautiful embossed detail, I think I'm going to bring in some sparkle spritz. I have two different, um, two different ones. One's gold, you can see on the bottom, one's gold and one's silver. And I think I'm going to add the, the, hmm, I think we're going to use the silver. I'm just going to mix this up a little bit. And then I'm going to scoot everything out of the way. And then I'm going to do a little test spray and we're gonna spray some sparkle on here. And I kinda sprayed it a lot. <laughs> so I'm gonna take a towel. And you know you sprayed too much when it starts to beat up. You can see here down here. <laughs> It started to beat up a little bit. So I'm just going to wipe that away. And less is more, I suppose. Sometimes, sometimes more is more, right? <laughs> so we have some gold sparkle. It's kind of hard to tell. I think either gold or silver would be really pretty. But that finishes my card today. Thanks for joining me. I wish you a lovely day. We'll see you real soon for another card making projects. Have a great day. Bye bye.